another review. Today I'm going to review bungee tape. Now this stuff is absolutely amazing and it's everything that they portray it to be. I've got clear and black and the minute I tried this I was just gobsmacked on how strong it was. It definitely holds 10 times the amount of strength that a normal hair tie could. So definitely try if you can get your hands on it. There are a few distributors around the world so definitely go on bungeetape.com and see which ones are available for you in your country. Um, today I'm going to do a review and a tutorial on how to use bungee tape and just how amazing it can be for being creative and using it for things that you wouldn't even imagine to use it for. So come along with me, I'll show you my review on the bungee tape and I'm sure you guys will absolutely love it and it's definitely something to have in your kit. Now when I received the bungee tape, I actually got a little freebie with it and this one actually goes on your case. So it's really cool, I haven't put it on yet but I will be putting it on my hairdressing kit. Um, and. I just love the fact that it's red, shiny, and it also has your name and address and telephone number on the back. We're going to try the black one today. It's gonna to show up better on camera, and then that way I can show you in the tutorial a lot better than what the clear will. Um, so basically when you open up the little box, this is three meters in this roll, um, and you only need to use up to two inches per um, wrap. Let's give it a go. Um, can't wait to show you guys how awesome this stuff is. And um, yeah, let's have a play. Now, before we go into the pony, we do want to cut our tape first because once our hands are on the head, it's hard to release the pony that we've just made and then go and cut the tape. So we want to prepare. So it does recommend up to two inches and because take note that it does stretch as you pull it around. But what I do find is if you overstretch it, it can be quite tight on someone's head. Um, just like any hair tie, if you do that third or fourth loop around, um, it really pulls those fine stra strands. So just keep that in mind. Depending on how much hair you're doing, depends on how much tape you need. So I would recommend and, um, about two inches. We'll just cut that first. She does have a lot of hair, so um, it will have that nice stretch in there. So I've just cut it, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, cut little points um, on the end, and we don't want it to be a harsh point, we just want to have a blunt point on the, on the edge. And that's just gonna help when we do um, the release, when we want to take it out. So we want it to look like this. And so you can see that there's that plastic um, film in there. So what they've done is on the sides, they've got that little release area so we can actually pick it easier. And we're going to take that film off. Now, once you've taken the film off, you just wanna make sure that this doesn't attach itself to each other because it sticks to itself. It doesn't stick to the hair. And just remember that. So we'll keep it flat on the bench while we do our pony. So when you're doing a ponytail, um, it's something that you learn when you first do hairdressing and a lot of people do struggle on it and that's okay. Just practice, practice because it all comes down to your foundations when you do hair design. So the way I like to show people how to do the perfect ponytail is Start with half the amount of hair. Don't just throw yourself in the deep end and grab everything at once. It all comes down to your foundations. So I'm going to half the amount of hair and I'm gonna work from the top first um, using your cushion brush. I've got a cushion brush and I've got a tail comb with me. So I'm gonna use a cushion brush first. So I'm going to brush the hair in the direction of the pony and this will just get all the knots out. It'll just make sure it's nice and smooth all around the head. And just knowing where you want the pony to sit is really important because you're going to brush to that point. So I'm gonna go just on top of the crown just because I wanna show you how strong this is and how amazing it looks up high. Like we all know that low ponies look gorgeous and the tape looks amazing in them, but I really wanna show you how this high pony really, really looks amazing. So as you can see, I'm just adding all the sections in slowly. So I'm just adding and then brushing and that really helps 
getting that perfect pony. And I did straighten the hair before I started, just so then that way it's nice and smooth already, there's no fluffy bits, um, and it will all come together nicely. Okay, so you can see that I've got the hair directly on the crown area now. And basically we just wanna make sure that it's dead center to the head. So using our mirror, we just wanna make sure it's in line with the nose. So that's perfect. And we just wanna make sure that all of the hair is in the right direction. And that will just help us for when we are actually gonna tie it and deal with whatever's left afterwards. Okay, so now that we've got our ponytail where we want it, and it's nice and high. We now want to flick the hair over the top of the head and we want to reveal our bottom thumb. Now this is important because if you don't have your bottom thumb free um, of the hair, you won't be able to wrap the tape around easy enough. Um, if you do it any other way, I do find that it's a little bit of a struggle and then you ruin all of your tension down around the head. So using your black tape, um, that we've already pre-cut. We're now going to just slide that underneath that thumb and put our thumb on top of it, okay? So remember this doesn't stick to the hair, so you can move it if you need to. Now once we've done that, we then wanna squeeze the hair with our hand and we wanna then grab the tape and we now wanna wrap it underneath, following underneath our other hand underneath that hair. So keep going, I've just used my, my finger on the other side to pinch it so I can come back around and we just wanna attach it. And you can see how easy that is just to, to attach. So I got three wraps around that. So this is when your tail comb comes in handy and we're just going to give it a very, very light comb towards where the bungee tape is. And that's just going to, to make it a little bit neater around the edging. And what some people find is you do get like a little bit of like a gappy look. So the trick is using the end of your tail comb, slide it in and then run it back. And what that's gonna do is just fix everything that's underneath where you've combed it and just make sure that it's really neat, really tidy, and you will get that perfect um, pony. And then grab your cushion brush, and then we're just going to give it a nice brush. Perfect. So there you have it. You have got your perfect pony sitting directly on your crown. It's got perfect height, it's got perfect tension. That is a perfect pony, and that is thanks to bungee tape. Um, looking at from the front, you've got nice height. It's just, it looks really professional, really cool. I love the look of the tape while it's in the hair as well. And it's just so easy to put in someone's hair. So definitely, definitely try this bungee tape at home or in your kit. I absolutely love it. Like that height, come on, that is just, that is incredible. So on point. So there you've got the perfect pony. It's got the perfect height from the front, from the side, from the back. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the look of the black tape in blonde hair. I think it looks gorgeous. Um, but they do have clear if you don't wanna see the tape, if you're putting a hair piece in. Um, and they've also got other cool colors like red, white. So definitely have a look on bungeetape.com and um, see what they've got to offer and definitely get some in your kit. So let's have some fun and try another style with bungee tape. The creativity is endless with this stuff and I definitely, definitely recommend you guys to try bungee tape and just be creative, have some fun and if you've got some free time, definitely do something with bungee tape. <laughs> it is just mind blowing. So let's have some fun and let's try a different style. Now, when removing bungee tape, you just need a tail comb or a blunt object and basically you just wanna find the end point, so where we finished wrapping the tape. So you can see that there's one right here at the back. So right here at the back, you can see that, and all you wanna do is just get the blunt object and push against it. That will lift the tape, and you just wanna start unwrapping. And once you start unwrapping, it will all come off, and you will see that there's no pulling off the hair. So it's that easy. Okay, so using the bungee tape, 
I'm now going to cut some smaller strips. So this was our first strip. So I'm just going to maybe cut strips about that small. Um, it's probably about two centimeters um, big um, because I'm gonna do smaller sections in ponytails just to show you a creative look and just go from there. So we're just gonna cut smaller pieces, have them ready on the table beside me and we're just gonna go for some creativity. I'm improvising so I don't have anything organized. I'm just gonna go for it and we're just gonna show you how easy and simple it is to use bungee tape for anything in a hurry. Okay, so I've got some bungee tape prepared for now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do three ponytails. So one, two, and three. So one on the crown, one on top of the head, and one down near the nape. So in doing that, we're going to do our sections like we um, said earlier. And I'm just gonna do my section from the front of the ears to the top of the crown, or just, just in front of the top of the crown, because I've got the... Um, ponytail going on top of the crown so we don't want to take the hair away from that one so I'm just going to do a diamond section up the top using my brush I'm just going to brush it in my direction again just like we did in the beginning Again, we're going to grab the brush and now we're going to just brush in the direction we want to tie it to. Okay, so once we've done that, if you're not happy with the smoothness, then you can always grab your tail comb and you can always comb up in the direction. Now the tail comb is really good because the, the bristles in the comb are tighter than the brush. So the brush is really good to get right down to the scalp and, and move all the hair into the direction. But if you feel that the hair still needs to be a little bit tighter in tension, then definitely use your combs because obviously, again, the comb has tight teeth. So again, flick your hair over your hand, have your thumb free. We've got a two inch piece that's gonna go around this pony. So we're gonna anchor that under my thumb so I can hold onto it. We're then going to stretch it right around, hold onto it with my um, finger, my little finger, and until it meets the back end. And once we've met the back end, we can then tightly wrap that all the way around. Okay, so now you can see we've got three ponies happening on our mannequin head and you can see how we've got the gaps, but don't worry about that because we're going to do something pretty cool. So I don't know if you guys remember, but years ago, some people used to use coat hangers um, made into one of these loopy things. So um, the hair loop, I got actually got this from Dezo. So you can get this from a $2 shop or um, any hair supplier should have them. Um, but it's really, really handy. And what I like to do, um, just for a bit of fun, is you can actually weave it through the hair and pull whatever you want through. And it actually makes it a weaved effect. But with a style, um, you can actually use this with bungee tape too. So what I do is I get a piece of bungee tape and I just wrap it around the loop end of this and you can just see that it's the tiniest bit and because this bungee tape sticks to itself um, it basically adheres around it but it's so easy to take off because obviously using a blunt object you can just pick it back off and it will open so then that way you can remove the tool 
and then you can just fix it up afterwards. So what I'll do is I'll just show you how to use it. So place the tool on top of the bungee tape and then we're going to just wrap the tiniest bit over because we don't want it to be too ad uh, adhesive and we're just going to press it down so it sticks. So now we've got nice strength there. We're then going to weave this through the hair. And so I'm going to go down here. I'm just gonna weave it straight through and I'm gonna just stop there for now. We're then going to take a piece of hair from each ponytail. I'm only gonna do the top two ponytails for this bit. I'm not gonna use the bottom ponytail just as yet. And we'll just do a two strand braid twist and we'll just twist around. Now if you've got a a section clip handy then we're going to section clip that down just so then it won't move now hands are free and we can now grab the bungee tape and we can grab our loopy and we can pull it straight through and remember it stretches and we just want to wrap this around until it sticks once it sticks, we're then going to peel it off our loopy thing and tidy. And how cool is that? So now we've, we can undo this. We've now got a beautiful twist up here and we've now got it anchored down next to the head. So now what we'll do is we'll do the second ponytail and we'll do the exact same thing. Now just remember, I'm completely improvising this hairstyle. I'm just having fun with it. We'll see where it goes. It might not even go anywhere, but that is the creativity of hairdressing and using new tools. So I'm just having fun and that's what hairdressing should be about.
So what we can do is actually wrap the hair in the bungee tape to just give it a really cool fountain effect. And remember it's got that stretch, so while you're wrapping it, just give it a nice stretch because that will just keep it nice and tight in position. And you'll also have more tape to use rather than wasting it. So you can see how tight that is, but it is flopping and that's only because my foundations down the bottom aren't tight. So it's just going to like move around. So we're just going to get some more tape and I'm just going to go a little bit lower just because I've got a high, a high loop down the bottom that it's actually sitting on. It's actually not sitting on the scalp. So there's no base up there. So we just want to go a little bit lower, which is totally fine. We just want to flatten that height on the bottom. And the best thing about working with bungee tape is if you do need to go over something like I am now, it doesn't stick to the hair. So it's so easy to use. Um, there's nothing worse than something just being stuck to the hair and you can't get in there and you can't move the hair away because the hair's stuck to it. So yeah, it's it's just amazing this, this bungee tape, I've got to say. And remember, this is all improvisation, so I haven't even planned what I was doing today. I've just gone ahead and done it. So the reason why I'm doing this hair design is so you can see how amazing bungee tape can be. Not using any pins in the hair up is just absolutely amazing. And the fact that you can thread something through for it to stick is just incredible as well. So yeah, I just want you to see there's no limitations when it comes to um, bungee tape in hairdressing. So now we've got that sticking up and then we're just going to fan this out, I think, and just make it like a little fountain. Okay, so now I'm just going to comb through our little fountain. I'm just going to fan it and spray it.
Okay, so here is my crazy hair design. I've been really creative. I've just used only bungee tape. There's no hair grips, there's no hair ties, there's nothing but bungee tape. I've used black bungee tape so you can see where I've done it, how I've done it, because if I use clear, I don't want the camera to not pick it up as well as what the black would. So if I was to, you know, change my mind, I could do a mixture of um, clear tape and black tape, but I've just used black tape today so you can see how I've done it and everything. But yeah, just a crazy hair design that I've done only with the bungee tape. And you can just see the maximum hold it's got there. It's just really holding all of the loops together. It's holding the height, it's holding the position. It's definitely strong. Um, these are all pros, um, awesome, awesome design. I just absolutely love the way that it holds the hair, how flexible it is, how stretchy it is, how it sticks to itself and not the hair. That is, oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> and the creative side of hairdressing really comes through when you've got a product that is just amazing. And 10 out of 10 to the bungee tape, definitely. There's no cons with this at all. Um, I do love how they've, um, put out there to cut the little um, blunt arrow, just so then that way it's easier to remove, easier to apply, and it doesn't look messy. That's really cool, and for them to even give tips like that as a company is fantastic, so thumbs up, guys. So definitely try bungee tape. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe my channel, and I'll see you in my next review or tutorial. Bye for now, bye.